So I do hold Steph Curry in high regard. But the only things I've had against Steph, or some people say this, I'm going to say this right now. He's a top 10 player ever. I got him in my 9 to 10, nine to 10 slot. Changed the game. I can't ignore what has happened in the last 15 years. People can act like the high, but they won't. My knock against Steph is about Draymond Green. That's the one thing that I always will have a shake in my head emoji about when it comes to him. Why he tolerates that thuggery, that bully behavior, why he never spoke out on that. For people always say, well, you you know, if you want to hear me comment on people that I champion, I got something that I always got something to say about him, no matter who much I hold him. Uh, you know, my knocks with Dwayne Wade was how he tolerated certain things that LeBron James did and then how he kind of ran out on him and then the whole thing with heat management, how he got underpaid and he didn't, you know, that was on you, bro. Shaq, with how he handled certain situations, you know, and more about how you, you know, you take care of certain matters. I can't sit around here, you know, and just say, okay, these guys, because you have to, like, take things into consideration with you on your own accord. So, I, you know, I'm just saying. So, had a little plug issue with that. But anyway, um, but the Steph thing with Draymond has always been problematic for me. You know, it's not a healthy situation, you know. They should have let him go. He's the one that's pushing the whole thing in the narrative about LeBron to go in states, not so much Steph, because Steph said he didn't want to play with him. I don't think Steph, if Steph could pick anybody to play with right now, I don't think LeBron James would be at the top of his food chain. They're rivals for crying out loud. And and when I say that, they each, you know, depends on how you look at it. Now, LeBron will have a better position into some, not to me. I got Steph over him, but, you know, if I'm Steph and I could get anybody to play with me right now, because you're not going to get Jokic. But if you could get anybody right about now who might be a little frustrated out of circumstances, I think it'd be Giannis. But Steph done already showed he can win with or without. That's what Patrick Mahomes got that from, too, you know. You think about it. Win with or without you. It's your team. You're running the show. So, but anyway, I'm probably have with, I'm probably have with, have with Steph is Draymond Green. That, that tolerating it. Because to me, that blurs and hazes up a lot of stuff. You've allowed this guy who's been a known problem and talks too much. And it's not good feng shui. Please hit like, subscribe, welcome on thoughts, comments, and I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another. Share it if you like. I'm out. Peace.